Hello everybody, welcome to how to make a grab pack tutorial part 3. The support on the other two videos is actually crazy. They are my two top most viewed videos, so thank you so much for that. In this video, we're going to add the flare gun hand seen in the new Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 trailer. But, before we begin, I wanted to address all the comments about making this tutorial in Unreal Engine. So sadly, I cannot do that because I would first need to learn Unreal Engine and I have no idea how to use it, so I just use Unity. But that doesn't mean I won't eventually get around to it. Alright guys, before we jump into this tutorial, if you haven't completed the last two, then go do that, or just go to the second one and download the project linked in the Google Drive, and come back here to follow along. I also wanted to let you know about the game I recently released on Steam called Luminal Found Footage. It's a realistic puzzle solving horror game that takes place in liminal spaces. Check it out with the link in the description. The first step is to download the model for the flare gun hand. The link for this one is in the description. You want to download the OBJ format. In the Unity project now, duplicate the original Grapac object and disable the original. Delete the red hand on the duplicate one and import the orange hand model, scale it and move it into place. Make sure to make it a child of the duplicate grab pack. You can also put an orange material on the model. On the duplicate, remove the grab pack script. Now make a new script called grab pack 1. All the code for this script can be found in the Google Drive linked in the description. Add this script to the duplicate grab pack. Now is a good time to pause the video and fill in all the references as shown. Don't worry about the three at the bottom yet. Next, create an empty game object as a child of the orange hand called Barrel. Move it to the end of the hand. Make an animation on the orange hand called Shoot that looks something like this. Make another animation called Shoot Idle that has one keyframe that makes the hand stay still. Set up the animator like so. Add a bool parameter called Flare and add it as a true condition to the transition from Idle to Shoot and disable Exit Time. Also disable Loop Time on the Shoot animation. Now in the Google Drive, you're going to want to download the Flare.Unity package. You can import this into Unity by right-clicking in the project window at the bottom, then Import Package, then Custom Package. Once that's done, you should now have a new prefab called Fireball 2. Back onto the duplicate grab pack, you can now fill in the references at the bottom like so. This sound effect can be downloaded in the description. That will bring us to the end of this very short tutorial. I plan to post another episode very soon that will polish up the project, adding a way to switch between hands, more animations and effects, and maybe even the purple hand. So stay tuned for that. If you had any issues, either leave a comment and I'll try to respond to as many as I can, or just go into the Google Drive and download the project for yourself. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.